News 46, local coverage you can count on. Are you on Medicare, have special needs, or are you losing your doctor? Please, let me help you. Call me, Fred Melkin, for your free consultation. 751-3744, right here in Pahrump. Uh, we gave them uh, an estimate of what it would cost for us to man mm -hmm. uh, DO, uh, Nevada Department of Transportation requests, requires that uh, law enforcement be present at, at intersections. Mm -hmm. And as you can tell, because of the budget cuts and because we actually lost manpower because of these buyouts, we just don't have any money, money, uh, any way to draw from it. Uh, we were in contact, uh, Captain Beck was in contact, members of PAVE told them what it would cost. Uh, we were under the impression that that, that amount was, uh, was fair. Uh, to them and that they would fund that and apparently I uh, found out last night uh, through another source that that was not going to occur uh, and that PAVE had made the decision to uh, cancel the parade. Now, let me just say this. These, this is like Christmas, like Fourth of July and like every other holiday we have. It comes every year. Um, and it, it kind of discouraged me why this now becomes a not only 11th hour, but 11th hour and 59 minute uh, type of issues dealing with the Knight County Sheriff's Office. Um, we don't have the funds. Uh, I know people from PAVE said it's a very important event to the community. We don't dispute that. Um, but when we went in front of county commissioners, the county commissioners refused to uh, acknowledge any type of, uh, actually refused to even make any comment on when we brought to the attention what it was going to cost uh, uh, fiscally. We don't have the money in the budget. The only one who can infuse money to the Knight County Sheriff's Office budget is the Knight County commissioners. Uh, the town board, my understanding, um, is not funding it at this time, and, uh, and neither is uh, the uh, Chamber of Commerce or the Tourism Board. Uh, those are the organizations that actually have the ability to infuse cash into, the, into this event in order to pay for services. Every year, we go through this with the Knight County Commission and, the mem and whoever is running this, uh, this event, stating that we don't have the money in our budget. Every year, the county commissioners... Uh, state, well, you're not required to be there, it's a private event, but at the 11th hour they're banging on our doors demanding that we uh, provide manpower and making it a political issue. Play, basically saying, well, if, if it doesn't happen, it falls on your doorstep, Sheriff, and not ours, because basically everybody seems to want to wash their hands about this uh, and, and leave it at my doorstep. I don't mind taking responsibility if that's what it is to, to, uh, to maintain my budget. That's required by law. And until somebody comes up with any kind of a infusion of cash into the Knight County Sheriff's Office for a private event private event, not a county event, not a town event, a private event, then they're going to have to, uh, they're going to have to deal without the service of Knight County Sheriff's Office. Unfortunately, this is not something that's unique to Knight County. It's coming across the country. There isn't money available. My responsibility is to, is to my mission and making sure that we have deputies out there protecting the public and, and, uh, and taking calls for service. Private events are private events. They have to arrange for their own security. They have to arrange for their own w ways of dealing with this. We gave them the options. They refused to have options. And honestly, I'm caught tired of getting uh, from one uh, source we have no money, from another source we do have money, from another source we, uh, you, ha you have to do this, another source, well, we can make this work, if, I mean, this is how much money we got. We're getting so many different stories from people running this event that's kind of like head spinning. And I'm tired of it. Um, when, when they can infuse money into, the, into this event for Knight County Sheriff's Office, we will be there. We will respond to calls for service should, have, should anything happen. That we will do. Um, then we're going to debate whether or not we're going to charge them for those services uh, because basically now the captain and I are just looking at that as another option if, uh, if the event um, is uh, causing that much of a disturbance to the community and causing that much of an issue for the Knight County Sheriff's Office. They're hiring private security guards, which have as much authority as you do. Uh, that's what they want to hire, and I understand that that's uh, that's the way they're going to go. I, I and initially I understood that they were going to be um, that they were going to volunteer their time. Now I understand that they're charging for their time, I, and I don't know what the story is because basically when Captain Beck, uh, uh, you know, talked with the last member of Pave yesterday, everything was working out for the parade anyway, and uh, now last night I get a, co a call that uh, that's not working out. There is no parade. They're going to cancel the parade. They're blaming the sheriff's office for that event, by, by the way, from what I understand. Um, when the captain tried to contact people from PAVE, we were met with voicemail. Uh, 